scores on the test have a mean of 73. It says that Q3 is 83. The scores have a distribution that's approximately normal and find P subscript 90, which is the 90th percentile. Now it gives you a hint that said, you will first need to find the standard deviation. Well, this one is a, a pretty challenging problem, hence the title, Normal Challenging. And I'm sure you'll come across this problem on your homework or on a quiz or maybe even on a midterm or final. One of the things that you're given is that the mean of this distribution, which is a normally distributed uh, distribution, a normal distribution, the mean is 73. And what that means is that this point on the x-axis is 73. The Q3 is the number 83. And Q3 is known as the 75th percentile. In other words, 75% of the numbers in this distribution are below Q3. That is below 83. So that in, can be interpreted this way, that here is Q3. This is Q3 right here. And in this distribution with a mean of 73, that number is 83. And another way of representing it is using what is called its z-score. So what we want to know is what is the z-score for Q3, for the 75th percentile? The way to find that is to look at the z-score for the 75th percentile in the standard normal distribution. So to find this Q3 z-score, I'm going to use the inverse normal function. Why the inverse normal function? Well, I'm given an area. I want to find a number on the x-axis. So under the second distribution button, I'll be using the number three, the inverse normal. And for the inverse normal function and an area being 75% to the left, or 0.75 as a decimal, I want to know what is this number in the standard normal distribution. In other words, I want to find the z here in the equation for z-score, z is equal to x minus mu divided by s. Because what do I have in this problem? I have q3 is 83, that's x. I have the mean is 73, that's mu. I want to find s. I said, here's a hint. You'll need to find the standard deviation first. So I need the z, and the z that I'm looking for is the z-score for the 75th percentile. Now in the TI-84, you would then follow this by the mean, and we're talking about the standard normal distribution, so the mean is 0, and the standard deviation is 1. And when I press enter, I get this number, 0.67 and change. This is a z-score, and we only take z-scores to the second decimal place, not to the fourth, to the second decimal place. Uh, the reason for that, by the way, is uh, has to do with the more uh, traditional way of pre presenting statistics using tables and not graphing calculators. And the tables for z-scores only go to the second decimal place. So for consistency, we'll use the second decimal place for our z-score. So the z-score here for this number, 83, uh, which is the 75th percentile, that 83 has a z-score of 0.67. Using that in the equation for the z-score, the z-score is 0.67 for the number 83 in a distribution with a mean of 73. We would then divide by the standard deviation to find that z-score, except in this case we want to find the standard deviation. We want to solve this for s. Uh, multiplying both sides by s, we have 0.67 times s is equal to 83 minus, 80, mi minus 73, 
which is 10. So we have S is equal to uh, 10 divided by 0.67, which we can take to the uh, second decimal place as uh, 0.14.93. Now with this standard deviation, now we can go ahead and find P subscript 90. Remember, we did all of this because we wanted to find P subscript 90, but to find P subscript 90, which is the 90th percentile, the area to the left is 90, and we need to know the mean, which is 73, and we also need needed the standard deviation. To find P subscript 90, now that you have the standard deviation as 14.93, uh, it's uh, a pretty simple matter to find the 90th percentile. And again, 90th percentile is the area is given as 90 to the left, what number is associated with that. And to find that number, again, we use the uh, TI-83 or TI-84. We're going to be going to the distribution button. We're being given an area. Again, P subscript 90 is the 90th percentile. Percent represent is represented by area, specifically area to the left. So we're going to be using number three, the inverse normal. And the input into this is going to be first the area to the left, which is uh, 0.90 or 90th percentile. Notice we don't put in the number 90, but 0.90. Nine zero, Then we follow that by the mean. The mean was 73, and then a comma. And now the standard deviation that we found going through this whole exercise, uh, standard deviation, which I took to two decimal places. And then when we press enter, here we have the number to the nearest tenth going to the first and then to the second decimal place, uh, this number is going to re remain a 1, hence the answer 92.1.